Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to install Pro C, Skunk 2 Pro C coilovers and also camber kits on a Honda Civic uh, 99. And uh, here's some of the tools you'll need torque wrench, wrenches, a couple of jacks, and your jack stand. And then your lug nut wrench. And okay, we're gonna get started taking the wheel off. What you want to do first is take that. Okay, to take the coil over off, the easiest way is to take this bolt off right here and then unbolt this nut and bolt right here on the bottom. And then unbolt your stock suspension from the top right here and then your camber kit uh, bolts are right there on the sides and right down there and then after you take those off everything should just drop straight down and you can pretty much pull it out so I'll get started on that and show you what's up next okay I unbolted the control arm on the stock one so this is pretty much loose now took the cotter pin out and just need to unbolt that this will come straight off and then I got that unbolted right now so all I have to do is pop that out and then the shock will fall straight down and I could just take this whole assembly out and uh, we can unbolt this one okay Looks like I I got everything bolted up right now, and uh, I just tightened everything the way it came uh, shipped, and uh, I snugged everything down, not torqued it yet, got everything bolted, and I'm gonna put the tire on, and then put it on the ground and do the other side. Then we're going to check how how high the ride height is and then we'll adjust it from there these from there and then we'll finish it up on the front side and then we'll move on to the back but the right side is going to be the exact same as this side so uh, I'm not going to videotape that side okay I got the fronts all done and now we're going to start on the back all you have to do jack it up take your wheel off unbolt this bolt right here and then these two bolts and we can get the camber kit on there uh, we had trouble with this one on my brother's car so did the, he had the exact same insulation uh, this bolt was seized on the bushing inside of here and it was stuck on here so we had to saw it off on each side and then break this weld off right here and that was a lot of problem that took forever and also I got my rear control arms on same thing with the uh, installing those two I just wanted to add in the video uh, I had to saw all these these two bolts off the one right here and then the one right here to get anything off and that was a big hassle I don't know if that's happened to anybody before but uh, we'll get started on that and then you have to go into the trunk and pull the, some of the carpet out uh, to get those bolts on this shock and I'll get back to you in a second
And it's a miracle it didn't happen to this one. Woohoo! But I went to Ace Hardware and bought new bolts anyway, so I don't have to use the same old rusted one. I'll stop right here because this bolt takes forever to get out. Okay, I got everything in there. Just have to bolt the shock up to the control arm and to the top. And I got my camber kit on. Luckily that bolt didn't break, so it's all good. I'm not going to torque anything down yet. Like I said earlier, I'm just going to adjust the height settings. And I'll show you how it's done. Whenever you want to adjust your settings, all you have to do is unscrew this collar right here, and then you can screw the shock body up onto the sleeve. And then the higher you screw it, of course, the lower your car is going to be, but that's all you have to do, really. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's going to be the same thing for the other rear side, taking everything off, putting it back on. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to take the shock completely off this arm and we can put the uh, Skunk 2-1 on. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute.